You're watching HCTV 22 City News, your source for news and information on issues, people, arts and entertainment, and sports in the city of Hawthorne. In this edition of City News, about 80 four-year-olds got to say goodbye preschool, hello kindergarten, at their recent graduation. Find out why it's almost guaranteed that these toddlers will graduate from college. Then, the young Hawthorne Salsa stars deliver an unforgettable performance. They'll take you to the event. And Summer's here and we'll show you a safe place to get wet. These stories and much more coming up on City News. Hello and welcome to City News. I'm Cindy San Luis. Well, not everyone thinks preschool graduations are necessary. Maybe they aren't. Preschool, however, has now become a necessary part of a child's education. 90% of the time, it'll determine whether your child will graduate from college. Deanna Morgan has more. It's the beginning of their educational lives. Four years old, preschool. It's been a long year. I learned lots of things. I learned about planets, healthy foods. Letters, numbers. Now it's time to move on. What did your mom want you to wear? She wanted me to wear this dress for graduation. Dressed in their Sunday best, preschoolers of the castle in Hawthorne say goodbye. Are you excited? Yeah, I am. Why? Why are you so excited? Because there's lots of fun things to do there. There, kindergarten, the next step in Michelle's journey towards success. Parents and family members were glued to their cameras and camera phones as their children walked to the front of the stage. I didn't have preschool growing up, um, but I think if I did, uh, maybe kindergarten would have been a lot easier. In fact, studies have proved preschool does make a difference. According to Alex Montero, president of the Board of Trustees for the Hawthorne School District, 90% of students who attend preschool will graduate high school. And the success is showing uh, that the kids that attend preschool go on to graduate from college and they make more money than other kids do not attend preschools. Michelle's mother, Kim, is so proud of her daughter's accomplishment. Is she a good girl this year? She do a good job. She's always a good girl. Gosh, I don't even know why I'm crying. Graduations tend to do that, make you cry, make you think. I mean, it wasn't that long ago when I brought her home home from the hospital as a newborn baby. Now as a preschool graduate, Michelle and her classmates look forward to more success. Their Castle Preschool education has laid the foundation. Deanna Morgan, HGTV. 78 students graduated from preschool this year from the Castle of Hawthorne. Congratulations, class of 2011. Well, the Hawthorne School District's two-way immersion academy celebrated the culmination of all the hard work throughout the year. Reporter Denise Chua takes us to the concert. These young students are dancing their hearts out at the Hawthorne School District's two-way Immersion Academy graduation event. They're showcasing a variety of Latin American dances. The bilingual immersion program teaches students in both Spanish and English from kindergarten to eighth grade. Hawthorne English learner specialist Marissa Stewart tells us how important it is for kids to learn both languages from a young age. It's fantastic for them. Not only are they prepared for the global economy, they learn so much when they learn another culture. All of them are learning another culture. I think the immersion program is very important because if you learn the two languages, you have more opportunities in life. They also tell us the learning process can be fun. It brings out the culture and the dancing is part of a culture of a country. The parents love it. They look forward to it so much. Um, everybody, community members come and it's just a big showcase for all that they've learned. It's very special for them. About 300 students participate in the program every year. This is Denise Chua reporting. The program is offered to students at both Ramona Elementary School and Hawthorne Middle School. For information on how to enroll, contact the program coordinator at 310-675-7189. With summer weather comes summer fun, so the Hawthorne Pool is expecting lots of children and their families these next couple of months. Catherine Chen has more on how to stay safe while having a good time. The Hawthorne Pool recently opened up to the public for recreational swimming during the summer. It's also bringing back its swimming lessons in two-week sessions for adults and children of all ages. When 
you ask young swimmers why they learned how to swim, they each have their own reasons. Because I really like swimming is one of my favorite sports. If I could pass the swim test, I could go on the diving boards. But Nathaniel discovered his when he rescued his struggling sister. My mom was watching and she was kind of drowning and the other person was about to, and the lifeguard was going to go get her, but I swam over there and got her. Nathaniel's sister now knows how to swim and looks forward to many afternoons in the pool with her brother this summer. But that frightening moment that can happen without notice reminds us to use caution this summer season. According to the CDC, 10 people die every day from unintentional drowning, which is also the second leading cause of death for children ages 1 to 14 years. That's why lifeguards say it's important to always have adult supervision, even if the children know how to swim. Make sure kids are always supervised no matter what age they are. Um, and if you cannot supervise them, don't let them go in the water. If I'm swimming at my aunt's house, either my uncle, um, my mom or my cousin will watch me. And supervision doesn't start when they enter the water. If they don't know how to swim, and it, make sure that you don't let them outside by themselves where there's a pool around. Even, even if you don't think they're going to go in, you just never know. They could even just slip in. Jeanette Rios is a mother of four and knows not to take any chances. I just like being here watching them, even though they have, you know, security or safety people here just in case. This is so many kids. I just want to keep an eye on my kids. Lifeguards also recommend knowing how to perform CPR in an emergency. Hawthorne Pool has lifeguards on duty and will be open this summer from 1 to 3 p.m. on weekdays and 1 to 4 p.m. on weekends. For HCTV, I'm Katherine Chen. The Hawthorne Pool is located at 12501 Inglewood Avenue. If you would like more information on the pool or its programs, Call 310-970-7228. Well, coming up next on City News, Hawthorne residents gather for an inaugural summer activity. Then, golfers in Hawthorne got a chance to play for a good cause. There's more news ahead. We'll be right back. One day these rats were playing in the woods. One of some rats is like, that's no good. Yeah. So the gorgeous force is what you decide. Don't play with matches. Don't play with fire. Yeah. Only you can prevent forest fires. Fire! While walking in a toy store the day before today, I overheard a crayon box with many things to say. I don't like red, said yellow, and green said nor do I. And no one here likes orange, but no one knows just why. Well, I bought that box of crayons and took it home with me and drew with all the colors so the crayons could all see. That each of us is special and everyone's unique, but it's when we get together that... The picture is complete! Hi, I'm Edward James Olmos, and you're watching the best channel on television. That's HCTV Channel 22. Watch it. Welcome back. Summer is here, and the weather is warming up. As Denise Chua reports, there's no better way to enjoy it than watching a movie in the park. Hawthorne residents flock to Holly Park with their blankets and chairs for the first ever movie in the park. The event was hosted by Mayor Pro Tem Alex Vargas. It's a way to bring the community together and do something that, you know, a lot of other cities do and just make it happen in, here in Hawthorne. So we're excited. Dozens of residents showed up early to get a good spot. It's like a fun thing for all the kids to just to come out and have a good time. It's like a park environment and stuff. The movie screened that night was Megamind. Chastity's little cousin Jemiah is a huge fan. Megamind is fun and the little bear is funny. The event also included good food and games for the young ones. Nine-year-old Kaya came with her two little brothers and says she's having a good time. I am playing games and going to get my face painted and going to the jumper. There's really nothing to do anymore that's family oriented. This is fun, this is unusual. 
Uh, this is bringing people together, bringing them outside. They don't have to worry about their kids. They can run around. Event founder Katrina Manning says putting this together was a lot of work, but definitely worth the effort. At first it started with just an idea and now it's actually here. So I'm just so overwhelmed with joy. I cannot even tell you. The event was made possible by the Holly Park Homeowners Association and the North Hawthorne Community Association. This is Denise Chua reporting. Organizers say they plan to screen more movies in the park over the summer, so stay tuned for more details. Temperatures are on the rise across the Southland, and the Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals Los Angeles, also known as SPCALA, has a few tips to keep your pet safe this summer. Do not leave pets or children unattended in cars. Even a quick trip to the store can become deadly because on a hot day, the temperature inside a parked car can soar up to 160 degrees. And this temperature is hot enough to cause heat stroke and permanent brain damage in children or pets. Be sure to keep plenty of clean, cool drinking water available at all times for your pet, including when traveling. If your pets are left alone during the day, ensure that their bowl is tip-proof. Protect your pet from the sun. If your pet must stay in the yard instead of the cool indoors, which is recommended, be sure there is adequate shade and ventilation in addition to water. Dog pads burn easily, so avoid hot surfaces on asphalt on hot days. Exercise pets in the morning or evening when it is cooler. And after hiking, make sure to check for foxtails and other burns, as these can cause major problems. For more tips, visit the SPCALA website at www.spcala.com. Well, Lenox Park came alive with the sound of laughter and music recently. Reporter Denise Chua takes us to a festival there. These kids are having a blast at the 16th annual Family Festival at Lenox Park. This festival is cool and you should try the hot dogs. The festival was organized by the Lenox Coordinating Council. Vice President Maria Verdusco smith says she had absolutely no problems getting people to help out. People are so giving. They, they want to do better with their community. Lenox School District Superintendent Friedrich Navarro says the festival was a partnership between the school district and the community. And it really is a symbiotic relationship. So the kids get to see that, they benefit from it, they get to come here, be with their family, be around a wholesome environment, get some great information and really what they feel is support uh, for their growth. Among the games organized for the kids included a giant slide, Toy Story bounce house, and a dunk tank. You get them wet when they fall. And you like that? Yeah. The festival also featured free health screenings and informational booths. I'm just walking around seeing what I can get. And what I'm doing is that I'm getting free stuff. Another highlight of the event was the landing of the L.A. County Sheriff's Department's helicopter, which really got the kids excited. This is Denise Chua reporting. Well, it looks like the festival was a great success this year. If you missed it, there's always another opportunity to participate in the fun and games next year. Well, air conditioners are in constant use during the summer months, and to avoid widespread or uncontrolled blackouts, the electric company initiates rotating outages. Now, each Southern California Edison customer is assigned a rotating outage group, which can change without notice at any time. Your rotating outage group is located on the front of your SCE bill. For more information on rotating outages, visit the Southern California Edison website at www.sce.com and click on the Outage Center tab. When we return, Hawthorne golfers aim for a hole-in-one for a good cause. Now, Krista, make sure you stay with her the whole time. She's new to the country. This is her first Mom. day. This Mom. is a brand Mom. new country. Mom. It's a whole different it's culture. Be okay. Now, make sure you stay with her the whole time. I'll be here okay. right after school to pick you up. Okay, Mom. Okay, have fun. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Ignore my mom. She's so annoying. She's totally freaking out about this whole thing. She freaks out about everything. She always does that. Ugh. Ignore my mom. So, you ready for your first day in the wicked castle of doom? I mean, like, seriously, it's so boring. I don't know how they could put us through this, like, every single day. How many schools do you have in your village? Hi, my name is Sergeant Robbie Williams of the Hawthorne Police Department. Today I will be sharing with you a few safety tips that you could 